what's up YouTube this is sports neck world live and um, I'm getting on the topic of the day about this NFL lockout now I don't know the exact days of how long it's been but I know it's almost a hundred as of um, June 25th 2011 it started I believe February 11th or 12th I may be wrong but I know it started around one of those days and you know it's starting to look ridiculous. I'm, I'm not, I'm a big football fan. I love football. It's one of the first sports I fell in love with because I love all sports. And, and football has been one of the major sports that I really love. And I'm going to be honest, it's starting to look like little girls just whining and, and whining over over $9 billion. These, these grown professionals do not know how to divide $9 billion dollars which which looks, looks kind of stupid and sad and they're saying that there's a lockout there could be a hundred and sixty million dollars we lost in each NFL city and over a hundred and fifteen thousand jobs will be affected I mean they're, they didn't they get their, their heads out their butts and let's get back to the game of football it, it looks ridiculous it, it, it looks stupid I mean I mean, this is not the first lockout that the NFL has had, but I believe it's one of the longest. And, I mean, I, these, well, um, actually, I got the correct days. I'm um, sorry, it's been 105 days as of 6-25-2011. It's been 105 days. And, it, it just, you know... And, and this is about, you know, American sports, which is making me even scared. It, it, the NBA is about to be in the same situation if they don't get themselves together, too. I mean, that's two out of the three of American sports that's about to be really messed up. I mean, and, and true fans are really getting upset because we just want to see the game. We just want to see the game getting played. Um... I mean, I'm, I'm just looking at some of the facts right now. I mean, they have television contracts. I mean, that could be broken, but, you know, I believe they're going to get a, a deal done probably mid-July or maybe the first week of August. I don't think they're going to mess up that um the Hall of Fame game. They, they should have a um a contract signed by then. I, I was hoping that they'll get something done before the draft, which they did. In which they didn't, if you understand what I'm saying, one of the judges lifted the lockout, but then they they reinstated the lockout. But, yeah, the NBA is almost in the same situation, too. They're negotiating, and sources say, for me as being, that they're not getting any further towards a, a deal. And... And it is, it, it makes me upset, it makes me mad about this, about the NFL, because I, I really love this game, I mean, I'm a Giants fan, New York Giants, and um, I'm ready to see the game of football being played, I mean, I miss it, you know, I mean, one thing I say is good about the lockout is, is that um, some people, or some players are stepping up and becoming leaders on their team and doing their own training camps, and many camps without the coaches, which I believe that's going to help our leadership on the team. I mean, it, it could be, you know, it could be something that can help this league in disguise, but who knows? They look a mess right now, and I really hope the NBA gets a, a contract extension before it starts looking like a mess like the NFL, and they're all going to start debating in courtrooms like little girls. Over nine billion dollars, and then um, I, I still think that some of these players do get paid too much, and then and I always bring up Jamarcus Russell. He got a six-year, sixty-six million dollar contract. He was the first round first pick in the two thousand seven NFL draft, and they released him three years after that. I mean, he's a prime example of rookies getting paid too much. I I admit some of these players are getting paid too much. I mean, I don't see why you need $66 million for playing 16 games 
a season, they be going to training. I mean, it's what, twice a week? I don't know exactly what they do, but it's not worth all that money. Well, Sports Network World Live, tell me what you think about the NFL, NBA, CBAs. Um, tell me what you think. Comment, rate, subscribe, Sports Network World Live. Let me know what you think, you know. Hit me up. Thank you for watching. Two kids.